just listen to this carefully okay don't no stress relax yourself and just listen to it all right let's open our eyes and just think about those sounds now you tell me like why are we doing this but when we sit down and look at a poem and read through the words there is something those words tell us and the musicians here associate with these words with the sounds that they love your memory of these sounds would be different than the person that's sitting you know next to you and that's what makes it beautiful there are three people their own memories their own experiences trying to associate with words trying to associate with the chords and the melodies and the poet who's on stage and this is something that we have been exploring slowly and trying to build through to form something different to do something away from the usual band music that i am usually associated with so you know on the other side when it's about singing and it's about melodies i know akhil my friend is very good at it i'm not going to make an attempt on this uh there is a lot of more range in the kind of notes that you kind of associate with the emotions and here we concentrate more on sound effects to do the same now what you'd ask me why sound effects you know some time ago uh, i come from a christian family and when i was little i used to play i used to look at the choir and join them you know sometimes playing the bongos here and off the christmas carols and all of that that invoked in me an interest to explore more religions their music and somehow I managed to sneak into a temple early in the morning with my friends and play some Hindu devotional music. I fell in love with Carnatic music there and that is how I started learning it. Slowly competitions happen just like they happen in bands here in college competitions a band wins a band loses and all of that happens. So even between uh, you know these places where religions are considered to unite people there were competitions a church competing against another church a temple competing against another temple everyone's trying to prove who's better somehow a competition of who's the bigger devotee and as a musician sitting there praising you know the music to one god that everyone thinks is their own god there is this feeling that comes through where i feel why as musicians are we trying to put down each other and show who's superior times passed by december came by and uh, everyone stopped shy of singing the carols santa gave his gifts and he said goodbye it felt as if something new was about to begin and i wasn't much interested in to take this you know thing forward and start living a competing life as a musician with someone i wanted to explore more i enrolled for a sound engineering course down kerala got to work in three movies as a sound editor and uh, this is where i discovered there is something more than music apart from the lovely ladies dancing around and all the great music happening behind them the lovely musicians doing that some you know great visuals happening all around behind the scenes on the systems that we were working on there were sound effects there was dialogue and there was much more than i actually had made an attempt to discover which was happening visually in front of me maybe i am a visual learner i don't know it just struck me you know why didn't i ever notice these things before there was this excitement wow i'm going to create my next big blockbuster i'm going to create the best dialogues i'm going to create the best sound effects and the best music and i started penning down words 
I started creating my characters, doing all of these in words and putting them in text. And you know, every day there was a new paper, there was a new script. Sometimes it was an action blockbuster, sometimes it was a crime thriller, I don't know what all. But yeah, it was an experience, an experience of emotions, of stories, of making the greatest script ever. So these things developed over time. But all amongst this, I developed a taste or there was this inclination to discover new kind of sound effects, new instruments, new ways of con con conveying emotions, the range of emotions, the tone of how a dialogue was said. You know, when you look at the picture, it's almost like a Brazilian soccer team trying to win the match. There is so much happening and it's in coordination. And when you look at it technically and then you look at the screen, you feel, wow, there's so much more happening than just actors coming and doing their roles and just leaving off the stage. So yes, this introduced me to one of those meetings with the renowned uh, Hindu Literature Poet Award of last year, Estreen Kher, who was doing a Poetry Slam event a few years ago. And uh, just seven minutes before her performance, she handed me, you know, this... Uh, sheet with her poem and chords and she's like would you like to perform with me and just put something together because i think you can really do this and it would be nice if we are there as a band and i was hesitant of course seven minutes before the performance going on stage is almost a risky deal to do but i did it i thought maybe there's something new to discover so that's where uh, jyotika discovered <laughs> this uh, band and you know uh, I was very happy after doing it because there Estreen told me how her words needed certain sound effects there were lines that she had to convey and there was an emotion that these lines meant there were stops that she wanted us to take and the band need to be silent at places where we kind of did how it was there were chords specifically for an emotion when someone felt happy, you know, like in music we say there are major chords for happiness, there are minor chords that make you sad. So these things drew a new path for me and I slowly started following it. This was the first step that Jastri had taken and if you ask us, we are only excited about making words more accessible, more fun, more understandable with the support of sound and visuals as a band. Jastri is now more than just us doing it. We are inviting poets from all across. We are inviting firepoy artists. We are inviting magicians. And we are also making an attempt at documenting it slowly. Because until it's on YouTube, they say you are nothing. <laughs> so we're trying to, you know, put all of this together and uh, working towards something bigger. Right now with me today, I have uh, Akhil and my twin brother Jijo. And uh, we are coincidentally all Malayalis from Kerala. So... It's my pleasure to, you know, introduce you to a piece uh, that we have put together music to. And uh, this is about a girl and her lover, like uh, he's all head over heels and uh, he tells her, you know, the bindi on your forehead, which is uh, the sandalwood paste, like in the south, they put a bindi with the sandalwood paste in the temples. It's not appropriately round, it's almost there. It's not as round as I would have loved it. But never mind, you know, you are way more beautiful than that bindi because I don't care even if it's not there on your forehead. So, I'll introduce you to my lovely set of musicians and start off with this. And uh, yeah, let's see how you like it.
पास होके पास क्लोजर हो माइक Thank you so much, guys. So, uh, 